In a bright and spacious classroom, the teacher's head suddenly burst open. A non-inverted man jumped on the podium. He asked the students to play the game of 123 wooden men with him. When it turns around, the moving student head will immediately explode. Several students tried to leave the classroom while they had the chance, but the door could not be opened. At this point, everyone noticed the words written on its back. Press the button, and it's over. Time left 1 minute 18 seconds. One boy was in a hurry. He rushes to the undefeated, but a girl was so scared that she screamed, but the laughter suddenly stopped abruptly. One by one, the students fell down. It shows an evil expression. Katsumura and Kitahara were soon the only ones left in the classroom, with only seven seconds left on the clock. Kitahara came up with an idea. He kneels down on the floor. He asked Katsumura to jump on his back. Katsumura jumped up in the air. At the last second, he pressed the button. Both of them breathed a sigh of relief celebrating their survival. But suddenly, Kitahara's head exploded. It has been proven that only those who press the button will survive. At that moment, the door to the classroom opened from the outside. It's Ogura, Katsumura's favorite girl. Looking at the girl covered in blood, Katsumura realizes that the other classrooms are also playing the same horrible game as before. The two of them stumbled and fled. They tried to call the police, but there was no signal on their cell phones. They tried to push the door, but it was locked. They tried to break the glass but couldn't. By mistake, they pushed open the gym door. At that moment, the floor cracked. A white cat with cheerful music slowly rose from the ground. The second level began. This cute white cat, without saying a word, he ate the nearest student. Everyone scattered in fear and ran away. The cat went after him. He stretched out his 40 meter long neck and killed a person directly with a big mouth. It ate two more people. At this time, Ogura and Katsumura found a bell on the ground and found a basketball basket hanging from the cat's neck. They understood. If they throw the bell into the basket, they can pass the game. A boy volunteered to do it. Just see him turn around. Assisted running, shooting, the bell drew a perfect arc in midair. It was about to go into the basket, but the next second, the cat caught it. Who said the cat's claws only sway back and forth? The game continues. There is a mysterious huge cube hovering above the city, and inside is a group of students trapped, and they are experiencing a game of death. Only the last survivor will become the son of God. Time is running out for the students in the stadium. Katsumura and Ogura finally figured out how to shoot the basketball and the bell with their clothes covering each other, distracting the cat. Katsumura runs and accidentally reveals a corner. The cat smiles at the sight. The attention was focused on Ogura's side. It slapped her shot away but found that it was a real basketball. Katsumura was holding the real bell. Katsumura shoots. Big Cat knew she was fooled. It's too late to block it. The bell flies to the basketball frame with everyone's hope. The crowd was already desperate. At that moment, a figure came down from the sky, caught the bell, at the last second dunked into the basket. He landed in style. The game was over, so he was Ito. The cat exhaled a white mist. The three of them fell into a deep sleep. Katsumura wakes up and finds herself in a new place. Ogura and Ito are nowhere to be found. The door opened and four puppets came in happily. They asked everyone to play a game of handkerchief throwing with them. And so the third level begins. The familiar nursery rhyme rings out from the mouths of the dull puppets. The song ended. The boy had to guess which puppet was standing behind him. The boy guessed wrong and was shot in the forehead with a laser ray. The boy's gaze was dull and he began to imitate the movements of the puppet, kept kowtowing and killed himself. Next, it was the turn of a poor girl. Not surprisingly, she also guessed wrongly. The puppet pulled in both directions and tore her in half. It was Katsumura's turn. Katsumura said the answer, but the puppet ruled it invalid. Because he ran out of time, Katsumura then took out his phone. It turns out that the end time that the puppet just said was a recording. The purpose of this is to trick the other puppets to talk. The puppet was so angry that it exploded on the spot with a bang. A key appeared. Katsumura and the only remaining girl ran to find the others. They soon met up with Ogura and the others. At that moment, a huge face came out of the wall. They were asked to find seven keys to pass the level. There was not much time left. There were three keys left. So it was too late. At that moment, Ito arrived again and gathered the remaining keys. But there are eight people on the field. And one extra person. Ito killed the student beside him. The crowd was too shocked by Ito's cruelty. Working together to turn the key to the fourth level. Have you ever played this kind of truth or dare? The question was asked by a talking white bear. Those who lie will be slapped to death by him. White bear asked, do you like my channel? Everyone looked at each other. 
This is the obvious question, needless to say. The white bear got angry and shouted that some of you were lying. Everyone panicked. They had to find a scapegoat, and he was killed. Next question, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Everyone did not dare to hesitate this time. They said in unison that they had subscribed to the channel. The white bear shouted, someone is still lying. Why do you subscribe to the channel and he still has so few followers? People were so scared. This time it was a girl who was pushed out. Katsumura was devastated. He finally understood. He turned around and pointed at the white bear and shouted, You were the one who was lying all along. You are not white at all. As a result, the surface of the white bear melted away, revealing its true face. It was a black demon bear. The remaining five people came to the last level. A Russian nesting doll twisted his body and walked out. Tell everyone that this level is to play hide and seek. When the ghosts just look at the face, say the name, and then back to the original point to step on the jar even if you catch people. Just catch three people before sunset. The ghost wins. In the meantime, if someone kicks the jar, they can save the captured person, but the person who kicks the jar will be killed by the explosion. Ito, the cruelest one, won the ghost. Ito grinned wickedly, very excited. Everyone scattered and ran away. Ito quickly caught two people, a girl was trying to cover Katsumura's escape. She was soon caught by Ito as well. Now all Ito had to do was wait for the sun to go down, and he would win. Ito shouted proudly. Ito kept provoking Katsumura. Katsumura hid and listened to a girl shouting too, telling him not to come out. He finally stood up and made his decision. Katsumura walked up to Ito in full armor. Unfortunately, the armor was too heavy. The sword fell to the ground just after he waved it. Ito walked up to him step by step, easily removed Katsumura's helmet and called out his name, but when he was ready to kick the can, found himself entangled in chains. Then Katsumura jumped straight down. Katsumura climbed up the wall from the other side while Ito was held by the chains. He ran quickly and kicked the canister without hesitation. The jar flew far away and hit the wall, but nothing happened. Three people were saved. The sun went down, and the game was over. It turns out they were all fooled. This is just an ordinary game. The jar won't explode, and no one will be killed. The nesting dolls laughed together. At the same time, the fireworks behind them lit up the night sky, announcing the end of the great game of death. Everyone cheered, but was it really that simple? Katsumura and Ogura sat in the corner eating ice cream, while enjoying the night view. They were planning to do many wonderful things together after going out. But as they ate, Ogura froze. The ice cream stick was melting. It was written that you were about to be killed. And then another doll popped up. It represents luck. It turns out that people with bad luck can't become the son of God. Lasers shoot out of the eyes of the luck doll. Ogura and the others were instantly turned into powder. Ogura's body turned into countless dots of light and scattered with the wind. The game is finally over. The high platform slowly rises. Katsumura and Ito were the only two left alive. They looked down on the world. They are worshipped by the world. But one was born cold and ruthless. The other is already full of holes inside. 